tread carefully, watch each step as you go. The advice from Withenshaw Hospital have seen an increase in the number of people being admitted to A&E. I, I just uh, fell in the snow and broke my arm. I'm in a lot of pain. <laughs> I was just trying to get to work this morning. Couldn't get the car out, so I thought I'd walk. <laughs> and how bad was the fall? Uh, well, I, I bro- broke my arm, so I just slipped in the um, just the snow. I think you don't realise it's icy under the snow, and I didn't have very good boots on. <laughs> so that's what happened. It's been extremely busy, and basically it's been one, um, one patient after another coming through A&E um, every few minutes for most of the day. Um, and the last few days, really since before Christmas, since the cold snap started. Yeah, plenty of people coming in with what kind of injuries then? What kind of falls are you seeing? People slipping over in the ice and falling over on the wrist and breaking the wrists. People slipping over in the ice and um, breaking the hips. Hospital staff say it's six times as busy than on an average day, with many patients coming in with fractured bones due to the snowy, icy conditions. Northwest Ambulance Service say they're only sending out crews to those patients with life-threatening conditions. The Mountain Rescue Team have been here. They've added their support to the ambulance service and have been out to many 999 calls. We haven't stopped this morning. It's literally one job to another. So you're here to sort to support. Sorry. So you're here to support the ambulance. Because of their inability to work in the snow. So with our Land Rover ambulances, yeah, we can go places they can't. Jennifer Jenkinson is 71 and has spent Christmas and the New Year on Ward A5. She slipped and broke her leg outside her home, emptying the bins. So I picked the rubbish up, went, put it in the bin, came, turned around, came back, was just walking down the garden path, on the path into the garden, and I just slipped. My leg just went straight underneath me, and that was it. Bang, wallop. And I knew I'd done something because I couldn't get up at all. So I sort of shuffled on my bottom to the house. My daughter got me inside. And she said, well, let's just rest it first. So I said, well, it's no good. So instead, I said, we'll have to ring an ambulance. She said, I'll ring my auntie Pat. <laughs> the first four to call. I said, no, you can't do that. She said, I'll ring Tim. I'll ring Liz. That's her brother and sister. I said, no, you'll just have to ring the ambulance. <laughs> and you shared a bottle of champagne, didn't you? We Somebody did visited with a nice bottle. My grandson brought it, yeah. So we passed that round. <laughs> Don't know whether it was legal or not, but we enjoyed it. <laughs> And the advice is to stay indoors in conditions like this unless it's absolutely necessary. Rebecca Pocchiello, Channel M Today.